there's this vast conspiracy going out in the Nevada desert about the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. This, we're looking at the gate right here. They don't even want you taking a picture of this. If you're taking a picture of this, they'll have security run out there and tell you, no photos allowed. The conspiracy has grown so big, that they've actually changed the sign. You see this sign right here? This is a new sign. Later on in the video, we'll get to the old sign. Before we get to the old undersea warfare center sign, they also have this uh, army plant in Hawthorne. The town we're talking about is Hawthorne, Nevada. It's out in the middle of nowhere, over 200 miles away from the Pacific Ocean. Now here's where the conspiracy comes in. Now here's where it gets interesting also. You see here, this is the old sign. This is the sign that was up there for many, many years until this conspiracy broke. And now, this sign is gone. You saw the sign when I the first the first sign I showed you in the middle in the beginning of the video. That's the new sign. This is the old sign. So so like I said, this is where it starts to get interesting. Why would you have a naval undersea warfare center out here in the middle of the desert, 200 miles away from the Pacific Ocean? I mean, what in the hell is going on here? And that's exactly what we came to find out. So we took a trip to Hawthorne. Now remember, this sign is no longer there. Just was there about a month ago. This old sign is gone. You saw the new sign. At the beginning of the video is the new sign. Now at the heart of this conspiracy theory is Walker Lake. Now here you're looking at Walker Lake. That's a beautiful lake right beside the city of Hawthorne. Now this, remember, is very close to the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. So to understand this conspiracy, you have to understand this lake. Let's go into some of the basics. So remember, this is 200 miles away from the Pacific Ocean. Elevation is around 4,000 feet. That's an important topic to go into because that's one of the cover stories that the naval base uses. See? But let's go into the theory first. The theory is that there are subterranean aqua channels that go all the way from the Pacific Ocean. They travel all the way under California for 200 miles and end up at this lake here at Walker Lake. That's the conspiracy, the heart of it. Remember, we're at 4,000 feet elevation. So, that brings us to the cover story that the naval officials use. Now, they say if there was truly some subterranean aqua channels that led from this lake all the way to the Pacific Ocean, the cover story is that this lake would never be able to stay full because it would just empty out into the Pacific at 4,000 feet elevation. So, interesting cover story when you think of it on a surface level. But let's dig a little deeper. Now, you've probably heard of a hot spring. Now, a hot spring is the emergence of a geothermally heated groundwater. It rises from the Earth's crust. So basically, the Earth's mantle is heating this water up, and it's pressurized, if you can imagine. Uh, some of this water is at boiling. Some of these hot springs it, uh, can be at boiling temperatures, which would create pressure. Now, the theory goes that if there's enough of this geothermally heated water that are directly below some of these uh, subterranean aqua channels that go out to the Pacific Ocean, that that, would, that pressurized system would keep this lake from draining out into the Pacific. Now, I know it gets a little complicated, and of course, Walker Lake is not a heated lake. I'm not, we're not saying that. So, just to clarify, this conspiracy is not saying that Walker Lake is pressurized underneath by... Uh, geothermally heated groundwater. No, what the theory is trying to say is that some of the uh, subterranean aqua channels 
that are between the lake and between the Pacific Ocean, that's what keeps it pressurized and prevents this lake from draining out into the Pacific Ocean because it is at 4,000 feet elevation. <clears throat> now, having said that, doesn't it seem strange to you that there's an undersea warfare center out here in the middle of Nevada? That's why we're here. That's why we came to Hawthorne to do a little investigation. <clears throat> I did talk to a few locals, and there has been some suspicious activity in this lake in the past. Of course, this whole town is supported by military, so they won't talk to you. Some of the secrets are tight-lipped secrets, but here we go. Now, what I want to know is Hawthorne, Nevada, out in the middle of nowhere, why is there an undersea warfare center in Hawthorne? This, this piqued my interest, so that's why I'm going to stop there. Now, I don't think I'm going to find any groundbreaking evidence here, but an on-the-ground look and a first-hand observation won't hurt, I don't believe. And it's a good place to start, you might say, on finding out the truth of what exactly is this theory. Now, here's the theory. You see Hawthorne there to the right. Hawthorne is about 212 straight miles off to the Pacific Ocean. There's the Pacific Ocean, Monterey Bay. Now, the theory is that California is basically a shelf sitting on top of the ocean. Now, bear with me on this. But before we get to that theory, this is what you see when you come to Hawthorne. They don't want you taking any notes, drawings, maps, or graphic representations. No pictures allowed here. It's prohibited. This is all very, very suspicious. Now, I can tell you this. I have first-hand information that this is, this is the tip off of Vandenberg Air Force Base out in Central California. And I can tell you there have been many, many people who have got off into the waters there and they have been sucked out somewhere. Now the cover story, the Air Force Base cover story is if you walk out there on that ocean, you're going to get sucked out into the ocean. Now you must remember, I was stationed out at this base, Vandenberg Air Force Base. I was there, been there, done that. I've been off those waters. I've been out in those waters about thigh deep, and the, it will suck you under. It's scary. I always believed that the southern current and the northern current, I kind of believed that undertow theory, that cover story. I believed that for many years. But now I'm starting to have second thoughts. How about if there's underwater channels out here? off the coast of California, which is sucking people into those holes. This is a theory worth investigating. Take this picture here off of Malibu. This is Now we're down in Southern California. Does that look like a natural, uh, something natural out in the waters there off of Malibu? No. The natural crevices are to the left and the right, but that round item there doesn't look natural to me, which ties into the theory that there are these undersea, subterranean, aqua channels that lead out to the Naval Undersea Warfare Center in Hawthorne, Nevada, 200 miles away from the Pacific Ocean. This is weird, weird beyond belief. The conspiracy theory is growing so much that, like I said, they took this sign down. This sign is no longer there. So, now this brings us to another conspiracy in Hawthorne, Nevada, same town, where they have an Army Depot base, not far from the Naval Undersea Warfare Center. Here, here's the sign. It's an Army ammunition plant. What's so weird about this situation is all the contractors. The military is so deep into the contractors. Notice the Day and Zimmerman contractor there? That's the conspiracy now, that the military is basically controlled by contractors. This theory is even more alarming than the uh, subterranean aqua channels. I mean, who could care? I could care less about subterranean aqua channels between the Pacific Ocean and Walker Lake. Really could care less about that. But what I do care about 
is that these corporations are taking over our military bases. This is what we call fascism. And if our governments are letting the military contract out everything to corporations, I mean, we don't know who these corporations are loyal to, do we? So here we're talking about Zimmerman, contractor, for the Army Depot base. And this is just one example. you got to remember, every Army base, every Naval base, every Air Force base in this country is now being taken over by contractors. This is alarming that we have turned into a fascist country controlled by private corporations.